Hi, I'm Susan Rubel from Aspen Film, and I am here today to tell you how to purchase access codes online for Aspen Films Shorts Fest 2020 virtual version, which will be launched through the Festival Scope platform. First, you will need to log into aspenshowtix.com, and that is A S P E N S H O W T I X.com. Once you get there, you will see a menu of options with several choices for Shorts Fest 2020 virtual version. The first thing you can do is to purchase a festival pass for all nine programs during Shorts Fest 2020 virtual version. If you're not interested in the full pass, you can also purchase program by program, and you will note on the website that each one has its own number. So if you'd like to see program one, you can purchase an access code for that, all the way through program nine, which is our family program. If you have questions about the individual programs, you can visit aspenfilm.org and read about each of them to see which one you'd like to see most. Once you've decided which screenings you would like to see or whether you're going to buy a full festival pass, you'll click the red buy button next to each program. That will take you to another page that says virtual screening room. And when you're there, you will note that there is a little box that says promo code. So if you're an Aspen Film member or student, you would enter your member or student code in that box. Once you've entered your code, or if you don't have a code, you'll look down to the bottom left of the page and you will see something that says general admission. You will click how many of each program or pass you would like to purchase, and then you hit the red continue button. Once you hit continue, you're going to see a pop-up that says digital access code, Aspen Film Shorts Fest virtual screening. This event is virtual. Just click okay. You know that you're seeing something online and you're not going to the movie theater to see this. You'll then be taken to what's called a shopping cart and you will see what's in your cart. Verify that all those are correct. There's also a button to remove something if you click the box next to it. It'll tell you that there is a $1 processing fee and if everything looks okay, you hit continue once again. When you hit continue, this will give you the option to either sign in if you have a ShowTix account or you'll have to create an account. If you have a ShowTix account, you would enter your email and your password. Otherwise, you will go ahead and create an account and then you will be taken to something that says delivery details and you wanna verify that all that information is correct. Should have your billing address and then there is something at the bottom on the left that says delivery method. You need to click the little box that says print at home email. Uh, you will not be able to continue until you do this, so make sure to click the print at home. Then you will hit continue once again and you will be taken to the billing info page. You wanna verify all of your billing information and then you're going to have to enter in your payment information. If you're already a member and you've got your credit card details saved on file, this may populate already and you may just need to enter your CVV code. You will scroll down and you will look at your purchase summary and make sure that everything looks correct and you will see a grand total and then you will hit buy. Once you hit the buy button, you'll see another pop-up that's terms and conditions. You need to accept all of those in order to continue to the next step. The next screen you see should say order summary and will show you everything that you've purchased with all of your details. Please make sure it's all correct. If you wanna add an order, there's another button that says new order. Otherwise, you are ready to go. Thanks so much for participating in Shorts Fest 2020 virtual version. This is really an experiment for all of us and we're pioneering as are you by participating in this great online festival. Thanks so much for your support and Aspen Film could not do this without you.